Alright, so in this video I'll be showing you how to download and how to use and some of the features of the web dis display mod. So first you're going to go to this link, it's down in the description, so just click on it and you'll arrive here. You select uh, whichever version you're using, I'm using 1.12.2, and then here you select the latest version which is usually or always at the bottom, and then you just click on download. You wait for it to download, it takes a few seconds. And you click on that. Don't worry about the ad. And it should appear here. If you're not using Chrome, it to, it's going to be in your download folder. So you just click on the folder and then on the download icon. Next, you're going to go to this link. It's the second link in the description. You click on this and you click whichever version you're using. As I said, I'm using 1.12.2. You click on that and you select the latest version. It's at the bottom. You do that. You click on the download button. You wait a few seconds. And then you click on download and it should be there. Again, if you don't use Chrome, it's in the downloads folder. So now you click Windows R on your keyboard and you type Windows App Data. Uh, I mean, um, percent app data percent. Then you click OK, and it should open this window. Then you double click on the Minecraft folder. You double click on the mods folder, and then you drag both of the files into the mods folder. Make sure you don't have any mods that use Forge that isn't one dot twelve dot two. Uh, you can move them to a folder. I have one that's called mods right there. So I just keep all my mods here that I'm not using at the time. So now you close that. You close um, your browser if you want, I guess. And then you launch Minecraft. So now you select um, Forge 1.12.2. And you click play. Let me know uh, in the comments if you want... Uh, a tutorial on how to download and set up Forge, uh, any Forge, it doesn't have to be 1.12.2. Just let me know which version, or I'll just do all of them at once, that also works. Just let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so now that uh, Minecraft 1.12.2 is launched, you're going to click on Mods. You can check whether everything is alright. Um, you can see all of the ones I have here, that's just for the um, web display. Alright, so... Now that you're in your world, you can open the creative menu, click on this little arrow to get the blocks that come with the mod. So I'll just take the web screen, the linking tool, and the keyboard. There are a bunch of other ones. These are pretty much the ones I took are the most important ones. Alright, so once you got your items, you're going to make a screen. The minimum size is 2x2, two two, and you right click on it to turn it on. However, 2x2 two two is a pretty small screen, so I'm just going to make a bigger screen. So if I just do this, maybe a bit taller. There you go. So, now I have my screen. I'm just going to right-click on it to turn it on. There you go. Alright, so, once you have your screen, you right-click on it to turn it on. And then you shift, right-click to get this thing here. You just pick whichever URL or website you want to be on. So I'm just going to write google.com. Okay. And there you go. You have Google. So now you just right click. And now you're going to want to place the keyboard wherever you want really. But right there is good. And then you right, using the linking tool, you right click on the screen. And you right click on the keyboard. You can do it vice versa. Vice versa. So you start with the keyboard and then the screen. Anyway, so now I right click on the keyboard and in the top left you can see it says keyboard hooked, press escape to leave. Basically, anything I type on my keyboard is going to type on there. So if I were to type YouTube, and then if you want to use your mouse, you need to escape and then use the mouse or whatever. But right now, I'll just click enter, there you go, and now I click escape, I select YouTube. I select the search bar, right click on the keyboard, I might just search up my uh, my channel, escape, 
and then you select you click on the little loop and there you go that's my channel so if I were to right click on my channel I can go on videos I can scroll down if I want you get the point so you can just look at anything you want so if I were to just um, uh, I'll just click on this video it's gonna open you can change the volume like that you can do anything you could do on a browser you just do it in Minecraft there you go there is also this tablet it's yeah you can shift right click as you would on anything else and you type in whatever website you want so I'm just gonna type again Google dot com okay and there you go now I have Google so if I were to right click on it it's gonna full screen and then I'm just gonna type there you go YouTube videos YouTube I would say this is in my opinion even better because if I were to do like that right click on search wait oh you uh, left click on search sorry uh, you left click on my channel or any channel really and you can use this thing this I would say this is even better than the other one because you can use your mouse and keyboard at the same time let's see what shows up oh there you go well that's it for this tutorial